Okay, in this uh, video we're going to be doing some basic color correction and if we're going to color correct just visually we're going to have to kind of analyze this picture and determine is the color shifted in one direction or another and I would suggest that it was kind of uh, shifted in the blue and the green direction. So um, when, we, when we go into our levels adjustment we can do uh, a couple different things. We can either take away the blues and greens or we can add red so it's kind of like the the anti-particle. Um, so let me just show you real quickly if we we're just going to do it visually. I'm going to put an adjustment layer and levels and I'm going to go into the specific channels because really the the uh, histogram doesn't look all that bad in this direction. So if I go into the reds, I say that we probably need to add a little bit of red and just bring this to the taper to begin with. Each of them the edge of the taper to see if we can what we can do there and see so add a little more blue in the lights and take away a little blue in the darks so we could make a few modifications in the middle so that's considerably better right there if we just uh, hit this we've taken out some of that green cast um, so what uh, Another way of doing it, that's just kind of visually, but we uh, address this a little bit in our black and white value and c contrast uh, correction video, where we could do it by the numbers. So I'm going to delete this and uh, we'll try it this way. So um, there's a lot of other technical ways, but this is kind of a quick and down and dirty way to do it to begin with. I'm going to go over here to my uh, color sampler tool and I'm going to uh, click on what I think would probably be normally white in real life. So I'm going to click on this guy's shirt, which is probably going to be pure white. And so, like in our uh, value and contrast correction video, um, we kind of get a readout of, of what the values are. And then in the black and white value and contrast video, we only had K, which was uh, just black. Now we have all three channels separated and these are the uh, beginning colors and then in a little bit when we start to make some adjustments there'll be a uh, forward slash and then then the corrected color so if we just look at this right now uh, we can see that the red is 242 and the green is 246 and the blue is 232 so really we're uh, if this was pure white then all these numbers would be 255 so really we're lacking in blue even though it looks a little bit bluish and we're lacking in red and the green is the strongest one. Now the other um, thing that I'm going to do, and we could set up to, I think four um, points, but I'm going to just do the blacks and whites right now. I'm going to click in something that I think would probably be pretty close to pure black. So maybe the top of these lights or maybe in here in one of these windows. So if this was pure black then we would be at zero, zero, zero. So we can kind of use that as a judge. You can again see that uh, in this case the blues are a little bit strong in the shadows. Um, the reds are definitely lacking and the, and the greens are lacking. So we've got kind of some weird color shifts going on and so we're going to try to address that when we uh, go into our levels adjustment. So I'm going to go to levels and pull this down so we can see both of them. And I'm going to go into individual channels and red and so this is the light um, part of the picture and so we address the light part of the picture on the right hand slider so red um, we're going to try to get closer to 255 if not absolutely 255 so I'm going to go on in here a little ways I'll stop a little bit short of 255 so I don't blow out any other details that I might have if I overdo this then I just turn what was maybe a uh, very light gray or very light blue into just pure white and then I get these big blobs of color maybe black or white so I'm going to change it to a green and really green is pretty close to 255 already we'll go a couple more and then the blue and we're going to have to add it's not changing, oh I'm still on the green sorry There we go, that makes more sense. Uh, we'll go up to 255. It seems like it's a little bluish cast now, but now let's go over and address the uh, darks and the blacks. So while we're here at the blue, um, we're at 
250 and when I added blue to the lights we also added a little bit of blue to the dark so this this middle slider kind of shifted over I'm gonna go to uh, getting close to zero but I can also address the middle tones a little bit and that's kind of taken away some as well and it might look kind of nasty right now it looks like it's kind of got a greenish cast but then we'll go into the greens and we'll try to get that closer to zero that made a significant difference and add reds and we'll try to get it to down closer to zero now I got that zero my greens for some reason came up to five, so we'll go back to that. So that's looking pretty good. Took a lot of that uh, color out, um, that color shift. It's still pretty light, and I'm going to address that in just a second. But let's uh, turn this on and off and see where we went. So definitely took that green cast out, and these are more natural, more bright whites. So um, what we can do now uh, to help save maybe a kind of a thin picture right here, so we've got kind of the details need to be bumped up a little bit. We may need to be done with that for a minute, and I'm just going to make this simply I go to layer, and I'm going to merge um, or flatten in this case down. So then I'm going to copy this layer. And in, all, in every case, you wouldn't want to do this, but this one's kind of thin. It's been faded as well as the color shift. So um, now I'm going to go to the blending mode. And remember, this is the blending modes are how does this layer affect the layer below it? And so normal means it's just going to totally um, obliterate whatever's underneath, um, be full opacity. But now if I change to uh, maybe multiply, then I've basically just doubled all the color information. Now, we're not going to address all the, all the spots at the moment, but you can see that the flesh tones are much more fleshy. Um, the, uh, just all the colors are more vibrant. Um, but you can, we'll, again, still continue to look at this, and we're definitely at zeros on the white. Um, we've got a little bit of a color shift here. Maybe we need a little bit more green, a little bit more red, because the blues are um, still kind of overtaking the I'm sorry, I said uh, white, that's, that's black. Um, but the blues are overtaking the, uh, the highlights. So we could go ahead and put another adjustment layer because that kind of just amplified everything. So we'll um, under the blues. Now we're at our 255 already in blues, so we'll go to the greens and add a little bit of the green. And then we will go to the reds. So I took a little bit of bluish cast out of it. Not too much, but there's a little subtle difference. So um, it's kind of by doing it by the numbers again, using this color sampler to, to pinpoint some different spots that uh, we would think were a white balance or black balance, and then we can go from there going into the multiple adjustment layers or multiple uh, channels.